What's up guys, my name is Gemini and welcome to He Keeps Me Here. Now this is a game by Matt Reeves Productions who I think I've seen some of his work before. Now, as far as I'm aware, it's a psycholo- ah, It's a very loud psychological horror game that leaves quite a lot open to interpretation. It's only short from what I can gather. Sorry if you guys can't hear me, it is a little bit loud because I've got my headphones turned way up. But I want to know who keeps me here. Oh, I am in play. Right, okay. Yep, sorry. Right, okay then. Right, straight into it. I guess this is my room. Ah, oh, well, that's nice. Sunrise. That lighting's nice. Alright then. So is that. Cozy. I'm exhausted, but I can't sleep just yet. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello. What do I look like? Oh, cool. Oh, God. Oh, I'm toothy, aren't I? Hello, mate. I hate this mirror. I'm not surprised, buddy. <laughs> I'm nobody. Ah. Oh. Oh, that's sad. It's the only thing between us. I hate this mirror. Who are you? I dream of her. I just want to be with her. I have to find a way. Right then. Guess I just go to her. I can never leave. He keeps me here. Who keeps me here? Oh! Other oh, guy? Is that you? He keeps. I guess you're the reason I can't leave. Okay then, fair enough. This is my front door. I don't have a lot of space, do I? You know what, I'm actually really easy in this regard. Like, this to me is everything. If I had a computer in this room, I would never have to leave. Uh, okay then. Is there anything I can interact with? It's all still can't sleep. He can see me. I don't care. I have to leave. Go, go. So you're gonna be closer. No, he's gone. Oh God, don't be in here with me. He didn't look overly pleasant, did he? Oh. oh, all right then. Uh, oh, oh yay, hello, gift for me. It's about time, I got a clock. I just know this, oh, I know just the spot for this. Backwards. Hang on a minute. Hmm. Sorry, my brain's on overdrive because I'm thinking, oh, time goes really fast here. Oh, no. Sup, bro? You coming in here? Fucker. He really does look like the other guy. Wah! Well. I'm not turning it down. I refuse. Where did you go? Oh god, are you in here? Oh! Hammer. Oh! <laughs> hammer time! My hammer! I've been looking for this! Where are you? Where did you go? Yay, don't fancy it now that I'm tooled up. Oh, break the mirror. Whack! Boosh! Hey, yo. I must go to her. Oh, the room changed! And my clock's the right way now. I think I get it. I think I get it, and this is clever. I like this. Okay. All right. This is strange. Let's let's. Uh... I'm finally someone. Now I can be with her. Oh, is he gonna get me a lot? He will never see me again. All right. Oh, that was it. Oh, thank you so much for playing. Please be on the lookout for more games at mattreesproduction.com. Press any key to return to the main menu. Where's the any key? Ah. I like that, that was good! 
So sorry about that guys, I expected that one to be a little bit longer, but still, what's your interpretation of that? I'll give you mine now. I think that our guy there, your main character, your MC, your protagonist, I think he was suffering with depression or some kind of mental illness that was keeping him trapped in the house. And I believe that he was the reflection, you know, everything from the perspective, everything was from the perspective of the guy in the mirror. And that's why he couldn't leave. Like, you can't leave because if you existed in a mirror, then surely everything that exists is simply what's reflected in the mirror. So you couldn't go outside because the mirror doesn't reflect what's outside. It can't see it. So you can't leave. And that's kind of the same way depression works. Like, it manifests in a way that keeps you... Like, it, it makes you feel like you're under constant scrutiny. You're being watched and, like, there's a pressure on you. Or a, a demon, for instance. Something that keeps you in when you don't need to be. So the guy breaking the mirror, the reflection breaking the mirror and being able to walk outside is can be interpreted as his way of overcoming his demons sort of thing, like like beating the other guy and <laughs> break it out. So yeah, I, th I think I kind of understand it. It was a little bit short and, the, you know, it is open to interpretation, so let me know what you guys think. I believe um, that it was played from the perspective of the reflection. The guy who you play as is in fact the reflection and the only way out is to break through the mirror and leave into the real world outside. Um, the monster was like a manifestation of your depression, of your anxiety, of your mental illness, whatever it is that's keeping you confined and keeping you trapped, making you feel like you're nobody and you have no purpose because everything that exists to you is only what exists in the reflection. So whatever's reflected in the mirror is your entire life. So you are nobody. You have no purpose apart from to reflect whatever's in front of you um but yeah like i say open to interpretation really really interesting um couple of mechanics on there that are familiar to me so i'm going to be looking into this creator a little bit more i've only just learned about him because i was recommended this game by a lady called lily the cat uh, who said that this was an interesting psychological horror experience which i am all for so that's going to do it for now smash like if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you fancy it because i like you guys very much and i hope you like me too and yeah that's going to do it for me until next time but until then game over bye